mentally unstable man is face to face with two deadly predators. His name, Zhang Ho Chen. The 46-year-old was addicted to amphetamines, abusing alcohol, and hearing voices in his head when he climbed into the lion's den at the Taipei Taiwan Zoo. I saw and they, they, someone jump into the, the, the den. I said, this is uh, it's, uh, amazing. Chen takes off his jacket, waves it like a matador. Then it happens. That lion comes up and just knocks it out of his hand. And you see how the person reacts and kind of shrinks back. Scott Lope runs Florida's Big Cat Rescue. He knows the damage these carnivores can do. They have these huge canines that they stab their prey with and easily penetrate through thick hide. They can even take down an elephant. Incredibly, after the first attack, Chen makes no attempt to escape, and the 300-pound male strikes again. Chen has been bitten and mauled, but he's so out of it, he still doesn't try to get away. And this king of the jungle wants another piece of him. I was a bit shocked. We were all appalled as to why someone would jump in there. Everyone was nervous, because anything could happen at any time. Officials decide to tranquilize the big cats. But it's not just the lions that worry them. We were worried that the man would charge at the lions. We communicated with the zoo director, and we discussed whether or not we needed to tranquilize the man. But they don't have the proper dosage for humans. Instead, they'll try to keep the predators away with a high-pressure hose. The zoo's chief vet aims his dart gun. Then he fires. When the lion was shot, at the first moment, he jumped up and started to roar. But two of the other shooters missed their marks. Fearful Chen's running out of time before a fatal attack, they resort to the fire hose. And it's up to the men with the blowguns to bring the cats down. Right here, a dart from a blowgun hits the big male. He runs out of sight, right into his cage. But the female is still a threat. Suddenly, she makes a move that frightens everyone. She charges right at Chen. But the high-pressure fire hose scares her off. Finally, cops see an opportunity. They beg Chen to come out. It's a tense negotiation, but Chen heeds their pleas. And he limps toward the service entrance and safety. The lions are unharmed and sleep off the tranquilizer. But Chen has severe gashes and serious bite wounds. I was on drugs and drinking excessively every day. And if you ask me what I was thinking, I would say I was thinking things that weren't realistic. I didn't know what I was thinking. Chen spent a month in a psychiatric hospital where caregivers not only tended to his wounds, they got him off the drugs. It was the beginning of a whole new life. These days, he's clean and sober, grateful for his friends and for people he didn't know who rescued him from the lion's den.
things for charity. In fact, you yes. auctioned off your ring, your NBA championship ring and yes. gave it to charity. Which how much did you raise with that auction? We raised seven hundred thousand dollars for mental health awareness. That's fantastic. Yeah. Knowing that Ron does a lot of work for charity and that he's got such a good heart, we decided to take advantage of that good yeah. heart uh, by asking him to shoot a public service announcement for an animal rescue organization. Now, you didn't know this had anything to do with us. Um, You're a horrible but, man. Yeah, I know, but here, here's how that went. <laughs> All right, everybody lock it down. Quiet, please. We're going to start rolling. Hey, hey, hey. You ready? Yeah, and action. Okay. Hi, I'm Ron Artest of the Los Angeles Lakers. This is my friend, Chicklet. Hey, Chicklet. Your generous donation helps care for Chicklet and thousands of others just like her. And cut. That was excellent. Next, we're going to bring in Rocky. We'll just keep this going real quick. Just, we just wow. got a couple more. I what the f- Hold on. I like all the ad libs you're doing. Nice. Wait a second. What is that? Um, she's a possum. She's not gonna bite? I'm not gonna get bit. You won't she's, get bit. She's not a biter. Wow. You're gonna read this like I ain't never read nothing. Oh, <laughs> Oh, hold on. Just uh, some breathe. Wow, hold on. Look at that. Okay. Oh, my goodness. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, hold on. I just gotta get warmed up. Do you wanna get warmed up? Yeah. You wanna do another easy one first? We'll do an yeah. easy one. Let's yeah. go with just a fuzzy, cute little furry animal. Do you guys, Whoa. no, no, will you sit down, please? It just makes it easier for her. Where do y'all get the heart to stand so close to that animal? I don't have that type of heart. Maybe that's why you guys aren't in the playoffs right now. No heart. Uh, let's go. All right, ready? And action. What's up? I'm Ron Artest of the Los Angeles Lakers. And this little lady here... It's Ethel, a king vulture. Oh! <laughs> You're kidding me? Uh, oh, my goodness. Hey, can you bring out Jake? Is Jake next? Get the f out of here. Yo, dude. <laughs> Wait one second, guy. This is a very popular pet. That's a snake. Oh, wow. Just, I need you in the same shot as the snake talking about That's Friends tough. United. I gotta warm up. I, I need like uh, I need we like a this, shot of we vodka did this or something. The, uh, we can get that. All right, can we get Ron a shot of vodka? <laughs> Take a step closer to the couch. Oh wow! Uh, and another step closer to the couch. Yeah, that's, that's look awesome right there. And one more step closer to the couch. Can you, can you turn your body that way? That's awesome. Cause he's looking at me. and He know I'm scared. Okay. And Ready? action. Hi, I'm Ron Artest of the Los Angeles Lakers. Here is Jake Lister. Hi. The snake is way out of focus, is my only problem. It's so okay, close, close, I can't even tell it's Just a snake. stay right there into the couch. So if she gets right here... That's perfect. Okay. What's up? I'm Ron Artes of the Los Angeles Lakers, and there's Jake the Snake. Jake is a five-foot-long albino python. Jake Let's go with a cuter animal. Let's Yo. go with just a fuzzy, cute little furry animal. Whoa, what the f*** is that? She's sweet. <laughs> oh, you're... <laughs> oh, that's a porcupine. Mixed with a wolverine. Whoa! She gonna watch the point. The pointy things. She can fight those out her back, right? She can see it. She can hit you anywhere she want to hit you. I know. Cause I've seen that before. Oh, she got me. Oh my goodness. She got a porcupine stuck in her arm. Uh, where's that vodka? There. While she's over there, quick. Get on. Quick, quick, quick. All right, all right. Okay, ready? Let's go. Let's go. go. Ready? Go. Oh, Get on the couch. Hold on. Uh, you, you're forcing me. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Don't let it happen. Sorry. Okay. Let it happen. Let it happen. Go. Your donation save lives. Right, Alex? Hey, Alex. Hey. Oh, look at the little fucky pine. So nice. <laughs> oh. Ron, this is our last animal. So if we can just do this one, then we can move on and we'll get you out of here. <gasps> oh, my First gosh. You got a chain. Oh, no. It's wrong. What is that? You son of a... All right, it's not real. You're not real. Uh, 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 I'm not 
not afraid of bears. I'm not afraid. Uh, uh. How's it going? Going great. Cousin South. Oh, man. He's a good this sport. Is Jimmy this is Jimmy Kimmel. Jimmy, man. Watch your back, Jimmy Kimmel. Ron Ron is coming for you, and I'm bringing all my animal friends this time. Oh.